Hello friends, how are you? I hope you've had a good day so far. I know I have. Today I got another letter from my friend Ferguson. Ferguson is a little wombat with a big personality and currently he's travelling around Australia to find someone to paint his portrait. Last time I heard from him he just found an important hat. An Australian Akubra hat to be exact. Would you like to find out what he does today? I know I do. All right. Ferguson was still singing when he ran into his friend Roo, who was hopping down the road. Careful, Fergie, said Roo. Watch where you're going or someone will bump into you and hurt themselves. Oh, hey, it's a great hat you're wearing. That a Cooper hat. Not bad, eh, replied Ferguson. I'm on my way to see a famous painter to have my picture painted. It's going to be hung in the biggest gallery in the whole world. I'll be remembered forever. Everyone will know how important I am. They'll write about me in all the best books. Talk about me on the internet and make movies about me. I'm going to be a star. Oh, said Rue, rather amazed. But what are you going to do that's going to make you so famous? I don't think I know either. I told you, said Ferguson crossly. I'm going to have my portrait painted by a famous artist. But, um, I don't think that's enough to make you famous, said Rue. You have to invent something, or win a race, or be the best at something, like an actor or a discoverer. Having your picture painted, it's just not enough. Oh, said Ferguson sadly. Well, what can I do? I don't know, said Rue. Let's sit down and think about it. If you ever had an idea or a goal that you'd really, really like to do, and then when you talk to someone about it, you realise that you really haven't thought through all of it, I think Ferguson and Rue are doing the best thing you can, sitting down and having a good think. Just because goals are difficult to reach doesn't mean they're not worth reaching, but we do need to make a plan to get to them. What are some goals that you have? Have you thought about how you're going to get to them? Well, kangaroos are famous because they can hop at the speed of wind, explained Rue, and squirrels are famous because they're gathering nuts to live through winter. And Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. And Sir Edmund Hillary was the first man to climb Mount Everest. And that's the highest mountain in the world. And there are famous racing car drivers and movie stars and people who do all manner of extraordinary things. But what do wombats do? I don't know, said Ferguson. Wombats can't hop too fast, gather nuts, climb huge mountains or race cars. The telephone's already been invented, and so has the internet. So what is there left for a poor wombat like Ferguson to do? <sighs> Ferguson sighed. In any case, wombats don't ever really do much, except build burrows to sleep in. Oh, sighed Rue. It's not much to be famous for. Oh dear, doesn't look like Ferguson's going to get his dream of being famous, does it? Nah sighed Ferguson. They both sat in silence for some time. Ferguson even took his important hat off, oh Ferguson, and put it on the tree stump next to him. There's no point wearing an important hat if there's nothing to be important for. Oh, do we sometimes feel a bit down when we don't quite get to our goals when we want to? It could be pretty disappointing. But that's why planning is so important. It helps us understand that we won't always get things right away. And it doesn't mean that we're not good at them, and it doesn't mean that we're not trying to get them. Just that there are things that are hard to get, like being famous, or a good grade in school. I know for me, it took me a long time to learn how to be a princess. I hadn't grown up like a princess, even though lots of my friends had. So instead, I had to take time, and learn, and make little goals throughout the way. If you've got something big you'd like to plan for, let me know down below. Perhaps you'll know that there are some little steps you need to take before you can reach that big goal. Next time we meet, I hope maybe Ferguson can talk about some little steps. We'll have to find out together. Bye friends.